second week in a row we have a repeat offender on Dirty Dining. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears takes us to a place that keeps getting it wrong when it comes to protecting the public health. Chinese New Year was a busy time at Pho Delicious. So busy, they say they just couldn't keep up. And then later on, we tried like, we tried like cleaning up, but like we don't have enough time to do that. You know you have to be clean even when you're really busy. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Pho Delicious on Spring Mountain between Decatur and Arville was first on Dirty Dining in September with a 39 to merit C grade, and that's exactly what they've got now. You can't be very happy to see another right. 39 to merit C grade in just yeah, five really, months. Really shame, though. It's embarrassing, though. Health inspectors found a food handler using bare hands to cut green onions, and the onions themselves weren't being washed. Do they not know they're supposed to wear gloves when they're touching ready to eat food? I think they know it, but I think, like, we, I didn't. They like they forgot. How about this slicer blade, which inspectors found caked with food debris? Oh yeah, because in the, I told her in the early morning that we cut the meat, but like he haven't washed it. And that and we had to wash it like right after we use it. But like the guys just forgot too. I'm really sorry. Yeah. He's also sorry about food like rice and shrimp sausage that were found at unsafe temperatures and had to be thrown out. Also, cut lettuce at room temperature that was kept inside a storage room with the hot water heater. I'm really sorry for customers too. Like we try our best to like keep it clean and healthy for them, but like we failed this time. I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah. And where's your C grade? Oh, it's, it's right there. Oh. If the thing was to put it on, collapse. It fell off the it wall off. into a box. He puts it back up and leads us into the kitchen. That's the head of a chicken. Tyler says they use them to cook broth. Oh, you got a you got a chicken head laying on the ground over there, Tyler. <laughs> That's trash. <laughs> That's not going to the broth, right? No, no. <laughs> okay. We find some obvious violations like this meat thawing on top of something else and multiple containers of uncovered food. And remember that slicer he says they forgot to clean? Yeah. So you still have a whole bunch of like yeah, old so food debris do down there and on this they took a picture of that too. So should they be cleaning that more often? Mm, yeah, it should too. Yeah. As we're on our way out, we spot something else. Is that sauce or blood? I'm not sure why. Needs to, yeah, I think that's blood spatter on there too, so that's something else that they probably need to clean. Another mess at another restaurant ended in closure for an imminent health hazard. Applebee's on Charleston and Decatur had sewage backing up out of floor drains and staff walking through the sewage water. A food handler who tried to mop it up just saturated the kitchen floor with more sewage water. They were also storing open food on top of a trash can and dirty utensils like this citrus press were stored as clean. Applebee's reopened the same day, but they barely got their A back with 10 demerits. That's the maximum allowed for an A grade. Fud Delicious still has a C. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.